A Day in the Life of an Atlantean Citizen Food Because the city of New Jerusalem is in paradise, we may base our ideas upon it, yet may never fully achieve its ideals down here on the terrestrial plains below. Thus we know only of the foods of Eden that they resemble enormous gems, emeralds, rubies, diamonds, jewels, etc., that their flavor is that of intoxicating perfumes, and that their substance is meant to feed our knowledge, our mental awareness, our brains themselves. Some have called the food eaten in and outside of Eden in Enoch the so-called New Jerusalem of resurrected pre-diluvial Atlantis, Amrita, Zro, the Shemana, Mufkuts, Soma, Lotus, Muscari, Ayahuasca, or marijuana oil. All the natural substances and all their chemical compounds are food for the minds of those willing to utilize them. There is no single right method of eating or maintaining health that is universally applicable to all and everyone. Some have hypothesized of the aesthetic ideals of Atlantis, that they were not art for art's sake, but were harnessed into the employment of the state. This much is as true for their food as well that it was not meant to feed the body, but to feed the mind. Like art that is eye-catching, the mind's eye is like a mouth that eats, that ingests and consumes stimuli both real and imaginary. We are each attracted to eat, dress, speak, think, and act as unique individuals. No two of us with exactly identical tastes and style we say thus of the food in Atlantis or Paradise that it is widely enough variant to provide unending recombinations.